remove the screw on the side of the cartridge. Remove the other screw. Release the tabs, on both sides of the handle. Remove the handle. Pull the edge of the frame out slightly, and remove the toner assembly. Remove the pin axle drum screw. Probably, you will need a special screwdriver. Remove the axle pin. Turn the locking ring, until it loose. Remove the gear and the ring from the drum axle shaft. Remove the drum. Be careful not to damage the recovery blade that is located next to the wiper blade. If this blade is bent in any way, the cartridge will leak. Remove the charge roller with its supports. Remove the two screws of the wiper blade. Remove the wiper blade. The wiper blade is probably reusable. This part of the cartridge contains the waste toner. Clan out all the waste toner. It's better to use compressed air. If possible, use a toner workstation. Do not breathe the toner dust. Clean the blade with alcohol and lubricate the edge of the blade with toner. Reinstall the wiper blade. Insert the two screws. This cartridge has a chip. It has to be replaced. Remove the two screws of the chip holder. Remove the chip holder. This is the chip. Remove the screw of the chip. Remove the old chip. Install the new chip. Clean the charge roller with a soft cloth and water. The charge roller places the initial charge on the drum, as well as erases the residual charge at the end of the cycle. Reinstall the charge roller. Insert the drum. Press the ring and the gear onto the drum shaft. Turn the ring and lock it again. Install the axle pin. Insert the screw.
If you need to disassemble the toner assembly, remove the screw. You will need a special screwdriver. You need to disassemble and clean this part of the unit, if there are streaks on the toner roller, or to remove too old, or damp, toner powder. Using a size T10 Torx screwdriver, remove the four screws from the doctor blade. The doctor blade, controls the amount of toner on the developer roller. Remove the doctor blade. Using a cotton swab, clean the edge of the doctor blade, so there is no evidence of built up on it. If any built up exists, the cartridge will streak. Be careful, these metal blades are easily bent, or warped. Remove all the old toner from the toner container. Gently, clean the toner roller with a soft cloth. The toner roller carries the toner from the supply chamber, to the drum. Reinstall the doctor blade. Reinstall the four screws. Insert this screw. Fill the toner assembly with around 50 grams of toner, and reinstall the toner assembly. Make sure the gears, and bushings, all fit in their slots properly. Snap in the left side of the handle. Make sure the tabs lock. Do the same on the other side. Install the two screws. And the work is done. For any problem with the cartridge, in the description of this video you will find a link to a troubleshooting guide.